We're sitting down here waiting to get on a train because today we are going to Hong Kong. Hong Kong! A lot of you guys are like, are you going to Hong Kong? We are today. I'm so excited. But Natalie, hi girl. Hi <laughs> in the middle of so beautiful. <laughs> She's in the middle of getting ready. You do look beautiful. And I was like, where did you get your skirt? Look at this velvet skirt. And she got on Amazon. I have touch it? so many friends and my cousin, she buys all of her clothes on Amazon. <laughs> Looks so cute. You look darling. So I'm gonna have to get my game on and start shopping on Amazon for clothes. Yeah. circle of, of trust, love. a circle of safety and love. He's in a circle of trust. Okay, I good. Oh, so love. sweet. <laughs> Look at all these people. Welcome to Hong Kong, Ellie. You're in the middle. That means you have to break dance. So yes. I'll throw a beat. Oh. oh, don't say no. I'll throw a beat. You break dance. I don't know how to break dance. Don't you break dance. from bamboo. Oh, Isn't that cool? That's crazy. They did the same thing in China, but they we're in Hong Kong right now. And it's cool to see the difference between Hong Kong and China. Hong Kong was under British rule for like a hundred years. And so there's a lot more Western influence, I think. And you see more McDonald's and 7-Elevens and Circle K and uh, people are driving on the opposite side of the road than in the United States. Uh, but even just across the river, it's crazy to see the differences between China and Hong Kong. Uh, what a smart decision. Uh, so we went back to school. I the what a small world. We are in Hong Kong and we just got to um, the LDS church. We took, we went to the bathroom. We didn't make it in time to go um, to a to the sacrament meeting, the worship meeting. And Jared met someone that he knows from Utah, and he works here now. Is that not crazy? Did you go to and Jace and his friend met someone that they knew in Hawaii. So two people that we both met in different parts of the world. So they're just catching up. I'm noticing that the world is smaller and smaller every single day. We are here in Hong Kong and a buddy of mine from college, Scott, lives here. And I had no idea that you were here. TFM told me, I was like, that name sounds so familiar. Like, why is that so familiar? He showed me your picture. I was like, oh my gosh, I went to school with you. But Scott is here in Hong Kong. He's been here for like four years and he's been doing some amazing things that is changing the world of Hong Kong and the people who uh, come here to work. Basically in Hong Kong, there's issues around forced labor with migrant workers from the Philippines in Indonesia. And mm -hmm. so we've set up a nonprofit agency, employment agency to help these people find jobs ethically and, and kind of prevent the, the debt bondage that occurs here. Yeah. And he's gone from in the, over the course of two, three years, three years, three years from placing 90 per year to oh, like a thousand, you're on the pace for like a thousand per year. So a thousand people are getting out of terrible situations into safe working environments and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna place about a thousand people uh, this year, which is a huge, it's a lot of people that we're helping, uh, but we also see opportunity to help a lot more over the next couple of years. That's so cool, and what's the what's the nonprofit called? Uh, Fair Employment Agency. That's so cool, man. 
Like, how cool is it? Like, a friend of mine from college is doing this, like, changing so many people's lives. Awesome, dude. That's so cool. funny so we all took a picture on the stairs over there and all of these girls from Hong Kong I'm guessing thought they were like they were laughing they were pointing at each other the whole time we were all taking a great picture well and because I you know we were waiting to get down because we didn't know if the picture was being taken so I was like doing some poses here and there and they're all just laughing and then the mom comes up to me and was like excuse me you would take picture with these girls it's so cute <laughs> it was so yeah. funny and so they and so were I all stood giggling. back and filmed and like do you want me in here? <laughs> My first thought was like, oh good, they watch our YouTube channel, but nope, they just like me for my personality. It was so cute. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling that our wives like each other better than they like us? It's confirmed for me. It's, um, that I just think they like spending more time with themselves than they do. If they didn't need us, they wouldn't have us. Probably not. That's where you come in though. I get a lot from you. Thanks for saying that, Joel. I needed to hear that. Bros. Before. Clothes? Wives. I think something that's been interesting that is cool. And then you hold it up to your eye and you're like. Is the money here? Then your eye looks really fancy. <laughs> it's like every time we get money out um, in Hong Kong, it's different than in China. And it's, it's just very fancy. It feels cool, you know? But that's 10. What does that mean? Here what? it's ten here, but what does it mean in the so U.S.? So you like divide it by nine, so it's like a dollar. Oh. Divide it by eight, it's like a dollar. Cool. I like it. It feels weird, huh? Yeah. Like I wonder. Doesn't. Doesn't tear. Good. That's crazy. These don't tear. Maybe the U.S. should upgrade their. Is it test dollars? Okay, yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, good. Our next stop of the day is at the Chi Lin Nunnery. This is a temple, which is very like sacred to them. And so we are going to walk through and we're going to be very respectful, but it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure exactly what we can take pictures of and everything. Like I said, we want to be respectful of what they hold sacred. And so we are going to go through and, and admire the beauty and the history of the Chi Lin Nunnery. This has been a very peaceful Sunday and this is a very peaceful, sacred place and it's beautiful to be here. This is amazing, this is behind. The trees are just like the bonsai trees, is that what they are? No, they're, they're banyan trees. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna say that wrong if I try and say what they are called, but they're beautiful. I love being here with you. Yes, this is like the coolest thing ever. It into this has been a really good day. All day I kept thinking about our relationship Q&A and thinking I don't know if I want to post it. I feel a little like nervous to post it because the more I've been here, I've never been out of the country, especially like this. What works for one person does not work for another. May not. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's and I have loved seeing the culture here yeah. and how other people do things, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a unique experience being able to live life somewhere else and we've only been here for a few days but you get to see life through someone else's eyes yeah. for a minute and and like we said in the relationship Q&A things may not work for you like they do for yeah. us but I it's just keep the reflecting principle. On that. Yeah. I think Jared and I are able to understand more of of comments that have come in yeah. that are different for them to see in our mm -hmm. life you mm -hmm. know like things that are the norm where we live 
is not the norm where a lot of you live and our demographic is so large and I think that it's nice to get out of our our space our into bubble. another yeah. and open our eyes more mm -hmm. and it's been amazing to be here and it's been amazing to hear the culture that's always been like a like goal emotional. of mine <laughs> yeah it's always been a goal of mine to take myself out of my shoes and to see perspective from all around and you're very good at that and being out of the country a, a very different country at that has been just a really great opportunity to do just that was that a bird poop or rain <laughs> i think it was a bird poop <laughs> yep um, right there. that's the bird right there oh. Oh, Nick, did you hear it it's where is he right, right there that was hilarious right there. I see him right there, there. Right there. That was hilarious. Well, we almost got pooped on by a bird. Yeah. Um, I totally heard that. Well, and even talking, like, I've never met Natalie and Richie, but meeting them and talking with them and what they do for a living and they they are speakers and she is definitely a motivated speaker and just talking to her this week, I'm like, it's just current, um, calmed my nerves I didn't even know that I had. Yeah. And it's been eye-opening and I've Makes enjoyed meeting new people. Makes you want to be like a go-getter. Yeah. yeah. So. They're awesome. I really enjoy the people that we put ourselves around. It, it makes us better people because of the people we have surrounded ourselves with. Yeah, and what's the saying? You're the average of the five people you surround yourself with the most. So yeah. surround yourself with good people. I'm just very grateful and yeah. I love you and, and I'm I grateful for this opportunity and we are celebrating eight years of marriage this, this month. month eight years that's a long time yeah and like i kept thinking like when we came here because this is such a beautiful place like of when jared proposed to me <laughs> and and um the conversation that jared and i had when he proposed to me like i remember it in my head clear as day i remember what i was wearing i just remember thinking like i really wonder like what are we gonna be like and i and i would have been happy if our original plan turned out um but i think i'm even more grateful for where we are at now mm -hmm. like with our relationship and with our kids and i miss them so much we video chatted with them yesterday and it was the sweetest thing <laughs> like our boys are so happy and i feel like they're Jackson mature was so mature when yeah. i talked to him i was nervous how he would be but he was like just happy he was a, you know? he's a good boy can't wait to go home and kiss them and give them gifts yeah. <laughs> he's like did you get a gift because <laughs> I, I told him when i left i said we're gonna leave for a, a while but we'll we'll get you something special mm -hmm. and that kind of always helps kids it helps yeah. me <laughs> <You're> <laughs> be gone? bring me home some flowers yeah absolutely <laughs> well we're gonna go look at the temple a little bit more because it's stinking beautiful it's beautiful thank you thank you <laughs> we are at a book factory right now, and right here behind us, they are printing a book. 19,000 pages. 708, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like, look at this just shovel through the pages. So it's air powered, it's a vacuum. The suction cups pick it up, this suction cup pushes it over, and then the feet right here grab it and throw it into the machine. And that's where it gets all the lines printed yep. and everything. That is incredible. How many thousands of pages do you that think are here? That stack over there is 20,000. Yeah. Just that small stack. So this is probably three, four hundred thousand? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. It makes my printer feel so inadequate. Like, <laughs> I know. They'd be so jealous. It's not every day you get welcomed in China with a red carpet, Joel. Yeah. Just today. Just today. I'm so excited to eat! Um, this is fun! We're going to Hot Pot, which apparently is like so anyway, stinking good. Oh, I, I don't know if you've never been here, but they have a red carpet for us, which is so nice. Yeah, it smells really good. Hi, ni hao! Alright everyone, have we learned our lesson from last time? You boys all know because you come here. We're having a, a lunch meeting again today and none of us are sitting until... So, big Boss! Big Boss Stay comes until Big Boss down. comes down. So Jimmy, here, big boss. they are going to give us a big thing of boiling water. Okay. We'll open these, we'll rinse your stuff in them, pour them out, wash, wash your dishes. Side. Watch and see what Jimmy does first. Do you wash your own dishes? And you'll wash your dishes before you eat them. These wash are sanitary, but they have you do it again just so you feel good about it. Cool. Yeah. He's going to sit down. He's going to sit down. Where what? You can see. Didn't tell me the time. see the door. 
Did she die? That's, that's where he usually sits, so you can that's sit fine. down where you can see the door people coming in. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why they sit down first. Yeah. Right now they're talking about it. Which no, they're not. I don't know what they're saying. So Jimmy is going to teach us how Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man. <laughs> or we call him that too. Is to put our pot stickers in here, cook it, take it out, put it in our sauce. This is like the cook, to cook it. Yeah. And then this is your flavor. Awesome. Is essentially the way that I'm figuring it out. All right. Now all of them is ready to eat. Okay. Except okay. this one. Okay. You have to put put the inside. Okay. No problem. Others you can you know pick it by yourself. Okay. okay this is so good. Noodles are amazing. So this is what the entire table looks like with almost all of the food. Like this is amazing. This is so crazy. Hey! This is the yeah. of a cow stomach. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> but then we've got this table over here that has a lot more stuff on it too. He's making some fried rice right now. This is a, this is incredible. This is so delicious. The first several days while we have been here, it has been more business. We've talked with owners, we've been with our friends that work here in China, and now we are kind of on more of the touristy stuff today. We are taking a three hour train ride. I'm not quite sure where. I, I I'm just where following it is, everyone. But it's a bullet train, and so it goes like 200 miles per hour. 300! 300 miles per hour? Girl! That's I crazy. Even, I can't even think that fast. So, tonight, tomorrow will be like a fun touristy day. Hop on! But yeah, having fun with cool. you. I know this is incredible. I feel like I haven't even vlogged tons, like personally or especially with Bonnie. But like, we've been like walking like seven miles a day. We've been running, so now I can. Wasn't that food delicious? Take a little breather now. Our feet are swollen. Our faces <laughs> are swollen. <laughs> Our tummies are swollen. Oh my gosh, I wish I could have filmed that experience that we just went through. We all just like rushed into this. <laughs> We're going into the bullet train and like everyone is like this fighting way. for space. It's crazy. Here we go. Okay. Move, move, move. Here we go. Uh, 14 B and A. Oh, you're so hot. I know, it's really hot in here. This is a lot more space than I thought. This is like first class. This is this very is nice. Class. No, this is like Delta Class. <laughs> this is nice. We're this going on nice. three hour bullet train. Oh, Jack, where are you? Look at these trains, Jack. I'm thinking of you. Look at the tracks. Oh my nose. What are you looking at? Sometimes you look, give me looks and it makes me laugh and scared. Bonnie scares me sometimes. <laughs> what are you doing, Jer? I'm getting your your audio adapter so you can listen to that book. Thanks. I got your headphones. And Jared has his. <laughs> Heck yeah! I want to play it with you. Yeah, I want to play with you. You can kind of do two player on it. So. Bonnie and I are gonna listen to a book. Oh, that's. And what of Natalie's. Justin. It's not always that. You way. guys will have to go follow everyone, but especially and Natalie's crazy. Instagram. Um, she is amazing. So we've got really Johanna like Adventure on YouTube. So nice. We've got Natalie Norton. You are nice we've to got, me. We've um, got Richie Norton, aka Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Hey, Ricky Bobby. And is your Instagram the Johanna Adventure as yes. well as YouTube? Okay, so there you go. You have it. Did you introduce me? Oh, no. and this is Do you need Bonnie. an introduction? Yes. We are sisters. Some people don't know that. <laughs> Every time. And it's my like... channel is Bonnie Helene. Thank you. <laughs> and there's Joel. Jerk! Look at our eyes. Your eyes are so much no, bigger than mine. Like, okay? yeah. When I smile, sometimes Jared goes, open your eyes no, up. You not and I always get a little flustered because I'm like, <laughs> they're open as I can get like, them. No, like, no, no. I'm, I don't know. My teeth are uh, unproportionately too large for my face. <laughs> that we took. It was a three and a half hour ride. We checked into our hotel. Now we're gonna go, whoa, hey. 
vlog in here. <laughs> hey, I, no, I'm serious. Stop it. Hey, okay, that's enough. I'll sit here. Cheaper, you know. It's not just, hey, I'm serious. What's the big deal? Oh, we're going to this uh, place where we're gonna go fishing with birds using birds to fish is that right fishing that is correct birds. so how do you how does it work i, I well like actually the bus driver's driving have the no door open. okay we're gonna find out ellie have you ever fished with birds before no i don't even know what we're doing this is like the first like, well i'll tell you what we're doing we're fishing with birds okay. that's what we're doing okay but I'm how excited. is the question how ni how ni how that's how that um owner too was so nice. So talkative. He was probably really nice because we let him sit down first. We were very <laughs> we, we follow really cultural rules. Okay, really hey, here we go. Okay. We're walking down. <laughs> okay, everyone watch your step, be careful. My, my shoelaces will light the way. There you go. Those you. Fall the, they do. Oh my gosh. Ellie, come over here. Look at this. This is what we're using to fish. Isn't this incredible? What in the world? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That's all right, we'll tip them. Wow. So they've trained these birds. Oh, look at And how they That's so get cool. fish for them to eat. It's quite heavy, right? Yeah. yeah it's not very really light. Those are the birds. Those are the birds. Oh my gosh. They're swimming underneath the water. No, those birds are fishing. He's got a fish in his beak. He's trying to swim over right there. See him trying to swallow yeah. it? Yeah. He can't get it down. So now he's bringing... Oh my gosh. He's... Oh, no way. No freaking way. No freaking way. He's got a fish. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They're like holding their breath and going underwater. Like that's so crazy to me. Swimming upstream. Both got them. Yeah. Look how big their necks are. Look, they're going to, yeah, jump up on the boat. That's so crazy to me. After a long day's work, these birds are just going to town. Look at them, chowing down on their dinner. Sitting next to their monster. Yeah. Well, and they're like, they're just staying there. Like, they're staying on the boat because they're trained to do that for these guys. That is so cool. Those birds, what, it, it was incredible the way that they did that. And these fishermen are with these birds for such a long time. The, those fishermen, this is their w living. Livelihood. Yeah, this is how they make money, is they take these birds who are natural fishermen, fisher birds, or something. Fish birds. Fish birds. And they dive under the water and they grab these fish and those fishermen sell the fish that these birds grab. So this is like their livelihood. And a way that they've like, improved on it is that they show tourists exactly what yeah. they do so it's then we pay them yeah we tip, tip them, them and, and paid them to uh for us to follow them on the boat and everything and so it's pretty cool to see how they can take this thing that they've been doing for generations like this they were saying like this is their third time third generation fishermen doing these things with these birds and, and he uh, like listened to him and he like yelled at them. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, in, it's he incredible. It's like Penny. It's like, get over here. Come yeah. here. Bring the fish. Hop up up here. <laughs> hey, is what they were saying. <laughs> so I just thought it was so cool, but.